you know, we share stories of what we do, but we've never actually watched each other do this before. So it was, it was phenomenal. You're watching through the lens or through the monitor the movie that you hope to be on screen one day. So you're watching her do these takes and you're sort of putting yourself in the edit room and, and in the movie. And so I think there is sort of a dissociation there. A lot of people don't know that that bathtub scene, the big scream at the end, that's only one take. So that's the other thing about having someone like Emily in the movie, you know, not only for my personal purposes was I so proud, but to be able to be in the room when she does what she does is is something that um, I had never experienced before and we had never been together on set. Because John was directing it that we had, we do have such a secret language naturally with each other and such a deep trust with each other and I think because we are a married couple, we are a partnership in real life, we don't have any of that diplomacy that you have with people you work with who you've never met before, you do this movie. And so we have a shorthand with each other and we had talked about these scenes and these characters so much in advance, certainly on the drives to work together and certainly when we drank whiskey at night to kind of decompress from, from the nights. We have very similar taste of um, what he's going to respond to as a director and what I can bring him as an actor. The vision that I had for the movie was going to be at least somewhat what was on film. It was really exciting. I wouldn't have gotten A Quiet Place if we hadn't done Jack Ryan. I'm an analyst. I don't interrogate people. I write reports. Get on the plane. I've been a huge fan of Jack Ryan for a long, long time. I mean, certainly as a kid, I you know knew the movies probably first. It's a world unlike any other. And so I think that for me, the reason to do the show was the character. I just think that these characters come around only once in a while. And weirdly, I kind of felt like he was the perfect superhero if I was ever going to play one, that this is sort of a, a, a great one for me. When it came to being approached about playing Mary Poppins, I mean, I was instantaneously thrilled by the idea of it and simultaneously slightly terrified. That film is sort of seared into people's memory and so how do I then find my version of her? I was thrilled to hear that she played that part. And I will say I have seen the movie, and the only thing I can tell you is that 25 minutes into the screening, I was just in the back at the like concessions table, and I just said, no, I'm looking for napkins, because I just needed anything to stop crying and to blow my nose, because I had blown through an entire box of tissues in 25 minutes. With Mary Poppins, I truly am beyond proud of it, and I can't wait for people to see the movie. It's the most hopeful, joyous, exciting film.